My name is Jim Gaffigan, and I feel... <sighs> Tell myself I wasn't going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> I feel... Like they're going to edit this. <laughs> <laughs> I feel uh, privileged oh, oh. about being Conan O'Brien's oh, oh, That's friend. so nice. Yeah. That's right, we've Jim, never that's met. the stupidest joke. Is it O'Brien or O'Brien? Uh, who can say anymore? No one's ever gotten it right. Um, I'm thrilled that you are here because I was curious today and I thought, how many times did Jim come on my late night show over the years because you were a regular fixture 30 times really you came on you oh do stand gosh. up you could also do hilarious panel you could do everything and i'll just say this up front you would come every time with a completely new set of material you are for my money the most prolific comedy mind that i can think of oh well thank you well as that's you, it gotta go uh, yeah no <laughs> but it is it is i mean that's what's so rewarding is the the coming up with the material right yeah, yeah. that's the whole lesson that i want to share with everyone <laughs> it's enjoying the process oh. no but there is something yeah, yeah. like whenever i get frustrated I lose sight the fact that it is really rewarding mm -hmm. to kind of come up with material and and be able to do it. It's one of the reasons why you're one of the biggest comedy stars out there now. Oh, well, thank you. And I say yeah. one of, like, there's like 35. Yeah, no, there's, I mean, <laughs> there's like 35. I'm sorry, 135. 135. Of the 2,000 top of comedy the people, people in the Los Angeles County, <laughs> <laughs> you are 8,000. No, no. So, I mean, the other nice thing, too, is I've seen people ride this crazy wave and then, and then that kind of can peter out. And you have consistently, uh, over the years... You're always really funny. It just kept building and building and building and building. And now your um, your level of success is, is mind boggling. And I look at your whole career and I go, oh, you just, it was all earned in this oh, very like, thanks. I say that in a very Catholic yeah. way, but yes. you, it was all built. You've built this thing and now you're, you, I mean, I, I'm hard pressed to think of anyone else who could tour with Jerry Seinfeld, you know, oh, and so it's much. crazy. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, I'm very grateful, and it's it's a weird thing. You know, there is nothing normal about going on stage and trying to make strangers laugh. So that's whenever, mm -hmm. like, comedians are like, yeah, these weird people, I'm like, but, like, there's nothing weirder than going on stage and trying to get the approval of a room full of strangers. Right. <laughs> Who sometimes are hostile to begin yeah. with. <laughs> and also, it's like, it is a conversation, but it's very, you know, it is very one-sided. It's like, I'm the only one with a microphone, and if they responded verbally, I'd have them removed. <laughs> so it, is, it, is, it is a unique conversation, yes. but it is the perfect type of conversation where they can respond with he, 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 or silence. That's right. one of their options. Do you ever have this? I have found, for some sick reason, I there's always part of me that enjoys the silence. Okay, get a laugh, get a laugh, and then nothing i i enjoyed yeah. in some sick way i enjoyed that and it's hard to explain to people that you want laughs but yeah. what i really want is some laughs and then i want a big dead spot <laughs> where we can all sit down as a group and wonder what just happened well you want to relieve the tension right <laughs> yeah you know you can identify that in comedians like bill burr will say a statement where mm -hmm. people are like come on don't say that yeah and then he will win you over it, and you're like, all right, yeah, I guess you, are, you have yeah, a yeah. point there. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't know if I'd say it, I'd phrase it the way you're saying, but yeah, you make a point. Sure. So there is something about, but a lot of comedians love that tension. Yeah. Because then when you relieve it or release it, it's more rewarding. You know what is, uh, what I've been dying to talk to you about ever since we did that oh, benefit with God's Love Delivered? Yes, we did a benefit together. I'll just set it up. Yeah. We did a benefit together in New York City at the Beacon Theater. It was God's Love We Deliver. You and I were hosts. Martin Short came by yes. and helped out. It was really fun. Uh, you know, what I thought 
was so interesting about that God's love we deliver, which is kind of a mouthful, but it's an incredible organization. Mm-hmm. We visited the day before. It's a ki- it's a giant kitchen where they make food. For people that are yep. ill mm-hmm. and then also for their caretakers. Yep. It's like it's the whole package. It, I think it, it really kind of kicked off. Uh, during the AIDS epidemic, but it's like been going it's strong. Ex- it's expanded. It's this amazing organization. And one of the things they asked is, could you guys come down who are who are part of the show? Can you come down to meet all the workers and sort of participate and work in the kitchen, which we all did, which was fascinating. Yeah, it was amazing. Oh, but so, so then we, so we're figuring out what we're going to do for this. And then there's also these elements where they're like, Bill Murray might show up. Martin Short might show up. And here's what I'm getting to. Like, there is, because there's this ongoing kind of, uh, you show affection by criticizing someone. It's mm-hmm. And then how that overlaps with roast comedy. And here's my point. My point is, I believe the, the most uh, powerful roaster or roast comic that's ever existed, and this includes Don Rickles. Mm-hmm. I think Martin Short. Yeah, I'm totally is with you. Beyond a doubt, the quickest, meanest. Yes. <laughs> so funny. Yes. And the, he does the Jiminy Glick because he's a sweet guy, and he can hide in the fat suit. Yes. <laughs> and um, say things like, no, you, "You know, your career never quite took off, never did it." You know. And, and so and, he's stating the obvious. Yes. Oh, sorry, I cut you off. No, 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 no. Like, go, go ahead. But I he, just think he it's came so out, fascinating. I was out. You were out, and then he came out, and and I think he went after both of us. And of course, you and I are like kids in a candy shop. The artistry of what he does it. And compared to like roasting, yep. where you see someone, you know, even that Tom Brady roasts, or you think of Don Rickles, who is obviously magical, but the what Marty does is he does it in such. And by the way, none of it's scripted. I think he's just he just does it. I no, I think he had. I do think he thinks really. Of I think he thinks ahead of time. Not to take anything away from maybe him, he's some good. of the Jiminy Glick because, Glick, the, because uh, the, the the writing is I mean it's so sharp but I think some of the no he can do it he can do it ad lib but I think he also has some when it when up. we did the God's Love delivered he literally walked out stole the whole show just dressing us down yes yeah. for five minutes <laughs> yeah. and left yeah he was shooting <laughs> the next day he's seventy five years old walked out ripped into us left. And everyone's like, well, that's the best part of the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And these two pale, <laughs> yeah, these two skeletons kind of like, are standing there. We're like, uh, <laughs> yeah, anyway, <laughs> we, <laughs> maybe felt... Marty will come back. Stay in your seats. <laughs> yeah. That was a joy. And he's also a sweet guy. Like, when oh, you talk he's to him, the real deal, yeah. When he's not performing, you're like, uh, he, like, it's, I don't know, maybe he's got a split personality. And he was also great <laughs> on that. <laughs> he's a great actor, too. Yeah. He was great. Now it's like I'm trying to. Uh, win him over for some job. <laughs> well, it's uh, a good guy. He's, you know, he's riding high. You he's know, he, riding he, high. I think he controls some purse strings. Yeah. 